full body tracking completely standalone on Quest, something a ton of us have wanted for the longest time, and it's finally here. What is up everyone, I'm Mystical, and today I finally get to bring you a video on how to install and get full body tracking completely standalone on your Quest. As usual, there will be a few methods, as there are some methods that are easier than others, but not everyone has a PC or even a potato to run full body tracking, so there will be methods with and without a PC. As usual, a few disclaimers first, so let's get right into it. Okay, so the disclaimers. First of all, you will need some form of a tracker. I mean, this is tracking, not estimation. So trackers are required. However, thankfully, there's a very broad spectrum of trackers you can use. Currently, the most popular one I can think of is Slime VR, and the people over at Slime VR have worked really hard to allow this to work standalone on Quest, and I'll talk more about that a little bit later. But when using Slime VR, you can also use OOTrack, allowing you to use older phones as trackers. So in case you don't have trackers, you can borrow a few phones and use those as well, or at least use your one phone and get yourself hip tracking. Another something, currently this only works in VR chat. I mean, I know that's the game most people are going to want to use it in anyway, but more games will hopefully be coming soon. All they require is just a mod in order to use OSC tracking, as that's what this is. And thirdly, if you want to run this completely standalone on Quest, you will require developer mode on, as we will need to install a third-party application. So those are your prerequisites, those are your disclaimers, and now let's move on on how to actually enable it inside VRChat. So VRChat recently has been going absolutely crazy with the updates for Quest, allowing Quest users to now have not only standalone full body, but also complete finger tracking using hand tracking. So looks like Questies are now getting all the goodies. So first things first, you will require the beta version of VRChat. This is really simple to download. Go onto the Oculus page, which I will leave down in the description below, and just install that onto your headset. Really, really simple. Just like you would install any other app from the store. Now, once you're in VRChat, you want to sign in with your VRChat account. This will not work with an Oculus account, so VRChat accounts only. Sign into the game, get into your world, and once you're in your world, open up the actions menu on your right hand. Inside that actions menu, you want to click on OSC and enable OSC. You can also bring up the OSC debug menu to see whether it sees your trackers later on. It's really helpful. Once you're done with that, let's move on to the easiest method first. The easiest method will require a computer of sorts. However, this does not need to be a VR ready PC. You do not need a link cable. It just needs to be a computer that connects to the internet. It can also be a laptop. And for the purpose of this first method, we will actually use my laptop just to prove to you that it works. And this is not VR ready by any means. So first things first, click on the link I will have for you down in the description below, which will lead you to Slime VR's installers GitHub page. On the GitHub page, download the latest release right over here and install it like you would any other program. Then turn on your trackers, whether it's your phones running a woe track, which I have a fully blown tutorial on right up here, or your slime trackers if you have those. They should slowly start appearing inside the Slime VR server on your computer and move them around to know which one's which and then assign them to each body part on your body. Then inside the Slime VR server, head over to the bottom left, click on settings, click on VRChat OSC, enable VRChat OSC up in the top right, and then put in your headset's IP address. Now enable all the trackers that you want to be visible in the game. For me, that was all of them, since, you know, I want full body. To find your headset's IP address, go into your headset, go into settings, then go into Wi-Fi, click on your Wi-Fi network, then scroll down to advanced, click on advanced, and it'll give you all the information about your Wi-Fi connection. All you need from there is your IP address and input that directly into OSC. Launch the beta version of VRChat and launch that OSC debug window that you had in your actions menu. Now, when you move your body parts around, the little value should move around on that debug window, confirming that VRChat is, as a matter of fact, getting information from the server. Okay, and now we move on to method number two. And this is where things get super, super easy. So massive props to Bagel and Butterscotch for making this happen. Essentially, you can now run the server inside a Termux instance. Termux being a terminal for Android, meaning this will work on any Android phone, no iPhones, unfortunately. This method is also going to be super handy for resetting, as that's where I see this one shine over running it standalone inside Quest. You can reset the trackers anytime they drift right there from your phone. Go onto the GitHub page that I will have linked for you down below, and there you actually already have the instructions written out. It's really, really simple. Get yourself Termux on your Android device, whether it's from the Play Store or from F-Droid, F-Droid being seemingly better in some instances, but I understand if some of you don't want to mess around with that, so the Play Store is fine. Open Termux and just copy-paste the following commands. 
apt update termux change repo and inside the repo changer you want to select main and then select bfsu so that's the repo that you want to select then apt install open ssl widget and then the final last command which i will not attempt to read out because it is incredibly long and that's it then you enter the website that was created by butterscotch and boom you've got everything working right there on your android phone or tablet or whatever android device you want to use turning on your trackers yes including OO track in case you're using phones you should see them start showing up inside the gui from there on all you want to do is assign them to body parts like you normally would make sure to set your orientation correctly and that's about it go to the settings in the bottom left then go to vrchat osc enable vrchat osc and input your headset's ip address after that select all the trackers you want to be visible in game and that's it you're ready and off to go enter vr chat open the osc debug window to make sure it sees all your trackers move around some of your body parts and if the values move you're ready to go okay now let's move on to quest this is where things start getting a little bit complicated let me begin by saying you will require a secondary device once and once only in order to get termux onto your quest and once only literally you can borrow this from like a friend or something and then never use it again so first of all you will need to get yourself termox so find the apk for termox off of fdroid or some other reliable source install that apk onto your quest and this is where developer options come in using side quest or any other method of installing apks in case you have an android phone you can also use bug jaeger instead of using a pc in order to sideload the app to your quest but i don't want to make it too complicated so just get the APK onto the quest using your preferred method. Once you have Termux on your quest, head over to unknown sources on the quest, launch Termux, and this is where things start getting interesting, as you need to start getting these commands into the quest. And while you can write them out, that's a massive pain. So I would recommend using SideQuest if you have a PC. If you don't, you're going to need to write them out. But if you have SideQuest, you can actually copy paste the commands from SideQuest into the quest, making your life much, much easier. Unless you can copy paste on the quest, but have fun trying to do that as well. So write out the commands one by one and press enter when you're done with each. With Termux change repo, make sure to change the repo to BFSU. And once you're done with that, run the rest of the commands, including apt install OpenSSL widget, and then run the last command. Now, once you run the last command, you're going to get a never ending string of code. This code will continue running in the background. So don't worry, it's not meant to finish, it's just running in the background. And once you have that, enter the website that you have right here, made by Butterscotch, and launch your trackers. Once you launch your trackers, you should start seeing them show up inside the web interface in your Quest browser. Once you're done with that, you know it's working. Head over to settings, then head over to VRChat OSC, enable VRChat OSC, leave the IP address as is, as this is essentially just a local IP address, so leave that as is, don't change it, and then enable all the trackers that you want to be visible in game. Assign your trackers to your body parts, make sure the orientation is set correctly, then what I would recommend is reset your tracking position here right now, as you won't be able to do so later when you're in VR chat. So stand up and reset your trackers. Once you're done with that, launch VR chat. What I've noticed is it takes a little bit longer to launch with Termux running in the background, and you should be ready to go. Launch the OSC debug window inside your actions menu and make sure the tracker's values are changing. If the values are changing, you know you're good to go. So you have successfully connected all the trackers through OSC into VRChat. Congratulations. It really isn't that difficult. It's either just a few lines of code or even less than that. So the folks over at Slime VR have truly made it incredibly easy. From here, all you need to do is calibrate full body tracking. That's really simple. Just open up the VRChat menu and calibrate it from there. Now you should have full body tracking running completely standalone on your quest or using some other potato device depending on which method you chose. I hope that this can help you out and I am so so happy to be able to be bringing this to you right now. Now this is getting updated basically on the daily so I wouldn't be surprised if they have a button to reset tracking inside VR chat or somewhere else that you can access when running this standalone on the quest, making your life even easier. So props to the folks over at Slime VR. You guys are incredibly amazing, seriously. And thank you so much for the conversations we've had during the last few days. It's been amazing. And uh, if you guys have any issues, head over there. Just please don't spam them. And uh, yeah, incredible work. So there we go. 
Does it work? Absolutely. And again, you can actually use a phone for this in case you don't have slime draggers, which you can actually make DIY right now, by the way. So of course, there are a few downsides. For example, if you're using the quest only method while it does work, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you calibrate and reset your full body tracking before you go into the game. Because while on the Quest Pro, you can actually use this no problem because you can launch the browser while you're in an app. On the Quest 2, you can launch a browser when you're inside the app, which means that anytime you want to reset or anytime you feel your tracker is drifting, you will need to exit out of VR chat, relaunch the browser, reset your tracking and relaunch VR chat, which is quite a pain. However, as I said again, on the Quest Pro, you don't actually need to do that. You can launch the browser while you're in VR chat and reset all your trackers, which is why when it comes to the Quest 2, I much more prefer using a phone or a laptop for this kind of method. Of course, a phone is the better option here because you can just slap that into your pocket and anytime you feel any drift or anything, you can just reset. But I do want understand that not everybody has that capability, so using the Quest is definitely a fantastic option here, and the fact that it works is definitely, definitely massive. And I have read, reading through chat, that they are working on a way to reset your tracking while inside VR chat, because you can apparently get OSC to do button presses, which is really cool, or something like that. It's, it's a really interesting protocol that I need to read into a little bit more, but yeah, it works. You can have full body tracking completely standalone on the quest. Of course, you need trackers, additional trackers. Of course you do. The, the quest's cameras wouldn't be able to do that, but it's working fully standalone on the quest only. No phone, no PC, nothing extra. It works. Termux stays on in the background, running the script, grabbing the data, and sending it onto the quest VR chat beta, which is amazing. So once again, we're here. It works. I can't confirm. Either way, guys, I hope that this could help you out. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it brought hope to you. Now all we need to do is get other developers and modders to implement this into other games. For example, Beat Saber could have full body tracking using OSC. So could Blade and Sorcery. So could Bone Lab. OSC seems to be a just kind of universal protocol that can be used with trackers, which is really, really cool. Anyway, I don't know enough about this to continue rambling on. If you like this one, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord down below and our Reddit as well, because we have those, and I'd love to see you posting your spicy memes on there. Thank you so much to the Patreon supporting this channel. You guys help me out a ton, paying my bills, paying my subscriptions, and helping me make these videos better. And as usual, if you want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.